All right. Today we're going to go over the basic functions of MajorX software. So some of the main items are the digital readout, where you can see the X, Y, Z position. Until we create a part alignment, this is going to be in the machine coordinate system. And we have an image window. So here we can see the part. So as I adjust the lights, the image comes into view. And there's a light meter down here, so wherever I position my mouse, I can see the percentage of light. And we always want that to be about 50%. So we have the model window. As we start to take measurements, this is where we're going to see those measurements show up. So it's going to be a model of the part we're inspecting. We have routine items, creating a new routine, opening a routine, save the routine, save as routine, and run routine. And we have our toolboxes. The main toolbox has our feature finder, focus, and average weak edge. Those are the three main items you're going to use. We also have another target tool. So if we click back to the image window, we can see how the targets show up. We can have a crosshair or a diameter. And those are the two that we're typically going to use. And then in the lower section, we've got two more tabs. One of them is for measuring features, measuring a point, measuring a line, measuring a diameter, some basic measurement functions. Those are the main ones that we're going to use. And then we have our construction tab. So we can construct points, we can construct lines, we can construct diameters, and we can construct datum origins and datum alignments. Those are the main ones that we're going to use. If we switch back to the model window, what we're going to use quite often is this fit to window. So it's going to fit that model that we're making from measurements on the part to that window. So we're going to get started. We're going to go back to the image window we're going to select this circle target and we're going to move it over to the diameter on the front left. And I'm just going to roughly position it there. And we're going to click the measurement tab and we're going to measure a point. And we press the enter button on the jog box. And when we press that we hear a beep and we click OK. And we go to the model window we can see our measured point here. We're going to bring that into view and we see that. So now we're going to construct a datum origin from that. And then we select our point and we're going to make that our X, Y, Z, 0 and we click OK. Now our trihedron is there. That's our X, Y, Z, 0. Go back to the image window. We're going to move to that diameter on the right. Roughly position our circle target on there. And it doesn't need to be precise, it just needs to be close. We're going to measure another point. So we click on our measurement tab and measure point. We press the enter button on our jog box. We hear the beep. We click OK, go back to our model window, and we're going to fit this to the window. Now we can see our two points, the first one we took on the left and the second one on the right. Now we're going to click on our construction tab so we can create an alignment. So we click on the construct datum alignment icon, and we select that point on the right. And those measured points that we took from that circle target show up as plus signs. So we select the one on the right, we're going to create the axis alignment which is left to right on the x-axis and we click OK and it snaps. So now we're in the part coordinate system. Now we're going to go back to the image window and we're going to move back over to our diameter on the right. So what we just did 
is us telling the machine where the part is. We can position it anywhere, but we're telling it where it is so now it can go find it. So this next step is making a program so that the machine can find the part. So an important concept with vision systems is, is they need to focus. So we click on our toolbox and we click on the focus icon and we get a focus tool that shows up. And we want the focus tools to be long and narrow. We don't want it to focus on too much of the surface. So we position that so the center of the focus tool is on the edge of the part. We click anywhere on the screen with our left mouse click and it focuses. Now to save that focus we need to measure a point. So we click on the measurement tab and measure a point. We press the enter button on the jog box. We hear the beep. We click OK. Now to save that focus which is in the Z axis we need to go back to the model window and we can pan in the model window by pressing and holding the mouse wheel and moving the mouse and then we can zoom by pressing the left mouse button and moving the mouse. So we just pan around until we get that into view. So that focus tool when we measure that it re is represented by a square box. So now we're going to construct a datum origin on that. So we go back to our construct tab, we click on construct datum origin and we select that box. And when we select it it highlights it just like any other feature that we highlight. Now to save that Z focus we need to zero it in the Z axis. So we check that and we click OK and now it's going to save that. Now we're going to go back to the image window and we're going to move the image, the feature that we want to measure to the center of that image window. And to measure that we're going to measure it with the feature finder. So if we go to our measurement toolbox and we select the feature finder and now to activate that we click three times on that diameter and it's circle. One, two and three. And we can size this. We want to expand it out to give it the maximum search distance. And to save that size we need to remeasure. So we click on the bottom here for the remeasure and it remeasures that. We click OK. We go back to our model window. We're going to fit it to the window. We're going to pan over and we're going to zoom in. And now it's represented by a diameter. That's the diameter that we just measured. Now we need to set our origin to that. So we go to the Construct tab and we construct the datum origin and we click on that Construct Datum Origin icon and we select the feature, the diameter that we just measured. It turns pink or purple and we zero it in the X and the Y axis and we click OK. And now our trihedron snaps to the center of that diameter. Now we're going to go back to the image window and we're going to measure the diameter on the right. Same concept. We don't need to focus. We shouldn't have to focus on this part more than once. So we still have our feature finder selected in our measurement toolbox and we click on that diameter three times always having that feature we're measuring in the center of the window and we can stretch that out and remeasure to save it and then we click OK. Now we need to create an alignment to that diameter similar to what we did. So we can click on the model tab again and we see our measured diameter there. I can zoom in a little bit if I want. I'm going to construct a datum origin on that. So I go down to my construct tab, construct datum origin, I select that diameter. I can see that it turns pink or purple and I'm going to I did that wrong, excuse me, we want to construct an datum alignment. So we construct datum alignment, we select that diameter, 
we align in the x-axis, we click OK. So now we have an aligned part. So now we can test this, we can run this program, so we're going to go back to the image window and we're going to run it. So we go up here and click this run routine. It's going to prompt us to OK that. We click OK, it goes back, and we can move this around. The main idea being that we can put that part anywhere on the stage now and we can find it. We tell the vision system where it is. So I just approximate where it is. I press enter on the jog box. Now it's going to go over and prompt me to position this on the right diameter. I press enter on the jog box again. It goes back, focuses, measures, sets the origin, measures, does the alignment, and we're done. So that's a basic alignment with Major X.